back here in the Blue Valiant. Now this time I am going to start it on camera. Now the camera's going, probably won't start, but what the fuck. Um, I'm back on the wheels, and we're going to go for a quick ride. I do have to remember to take the uh, the chocks out of the front wheels, but um, they're it's resting right up against them, so I'm going to have to go back a bit. Anyway, let's see what happens. December 28 was the last time I started it and we did a little movie there but if you recall I had started it first and then started the camera but uh, yeah so that's you know four seconds of turnover for three months of not working last time I started it had been 600 and some days and it was about like that I watch for wasps because uh, I've seen them around and I think they're trying to make nests in the doors. I've already killed a few. Um, anyway, it's back on the wheels as I mentioned and uh, the shock mount is still just a nub of hacked away metal. It'll probably rub if there's any bumps whatsoever. Doesn't look any different than it did last time. I did rehook up the shock on this side, on the on the driver's side. Passenger side, I just kind of like compressed it as much as it would go, and then kind of zap strapped it so that it wouldn't interfere with anything. Uh, with this out of the way. I can actually get the Merc out, and I might do that. Maybe we'll do a video of it uh, either this afternoon or uh, tomorrow. I better go get my phone just in case. This is still warming up a bit. Fucking tuckered out, holy shit. All I did was put two wheels, well, I had to do a bunch of jacking and take the fucking jack stands out. And they'd been up there so long they were damn near welded to the fucking axle there. Alright, let's, let's go see what's down at the beach.
plates right now, 2016. Maybe it was 2017. Oh, it's busy down here today, fuck. I don't think I've ever seen this many cars down here. This is the COVID effect down here. I think I'll turn around before we even get down there. We got lots of plants down here I should be taking pictures of, probably. Yeah, see there, rotos are out now. Full blue. When we go back, you'll see mine at the top of the driveway. I'm not even started. Blooming. in this one is smoother than in the red one too even though I've had the red one we built it kind of slams into a second this one's a little smoother yeah, see my road is right here oh they're starting to open up a bit Yeah, another couple of days in those wheels. Boom. Anyway, not much of a drive. But it's fun to be out in it again. It's a beater. I paid a thousand bucks for it, I think. Was, at least four years ago. All right. Temperatures up, good range. Anyway, that's pretty righteous. So uh, that's kind of it for that little affair. But uh, like I say, that opens up the ability for me to get the Merc out and ultimately the Studebaker as well. Um, probably I should put the Studebaker on the short list. Go and get some bolts that I need for the uh, manifold or the exhaust manifolds. <laughs> and then uh, get that bitch going too. That would be uh, That would be quite a coup actually. Alright, anyway, I don't know if this will make a movie, but uh, it was fun to get it, to get the blue monster out. Talk soon, have fun, take care, bye.